do you want to modify your invoice in Biz Essential or any other word-based report? Well, to do so, there's only two windows that we need to know about. That would be the Custom Layouts window and the Report Layout Selection window. Today, I'll go through how we can modify our invoice very simply with only a few steps. And I'll also touch a little bit on how we can modify the logo without going into the templates. Let's take a look. So the first thing we need to do when modifying reports is to identify which report we want to modify. To do so, I can go to my report layout selection window and I'm going to search for invoice. And uh, we can see here, this is the report I want to modify, my sales invoice, it has report ID 1306. Uh, so a few things to note on this page here is that uh, currently it looks like in the demo company here, we're using the built-in word report. So built-in just means that it's an um, out-of-box report, okay? So if we want to go ahead and start modifying this report, we can go to process and then custom layouts. And so this will show us all of the out-of-the-box reports available to us. Uh, we can see we have a slew of them as denoted by this check mark box here in this built-in column. Okay, now let's say it's this US sales invoice blue that we wanted to modify. To do so, I would just make a copy of this report. So I'm going to go to process and copy. And now we get a copy of that report and we can see that it no longer has a, a built-in check mark beside it because it's no longer out of the box. Okay, now to modify it, I would simply go to layout and I would export this layout. And then I can open up my report here for modifying. And let's just assume that uh, our client wanted us just to add a little bit uh, to the bottom of their invoice here. So just a line of text. Okay, so let's assume that's all they wanted there to make it nice and simple for our example. And I will go ahead and now save this new report. I'm just going to save it to my desktop so I can find it nice and easily. And we'll give it a name here of invoice new. All right, so now that we got our new invoice modified and saved, we can come back into our report layout selection window. And I'll make sure that I'm on my copy of my invoice here. And I'll go back to layout and I will import this new layout. It's going to ask me to choose which Word document. And I'm going to choose my invoice new document. And I'll import that in. And the last step here, I just make sure I want to update my layout for that new layout. Okay, and I get a, a, a message here that's letting me know that it has been updated. Okay, uh, so final step now, we want to go ahead and assign this new layout to our company. So that will be back on our report layout selection window. So I'm going to back out of here. And um, I'm going to choose edit list, which is going to allow me to edit uh, things in this window. And first thing I want to do is make sure that I change this from word built-in because it's no longer a built-in report we're going to be using. It's going to be a custom layout. And that will allow me to choose my copy of sales invoice blue. And now that's set on the company. Let's run this report here just to make sure we get our desired results. And I'm just going to preview it here. Perfect. And we can see that our line is now added to this report. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys was how easy it's going to be here to change your logo on any report in the system. Uh, this does not require us to go into any of the reports to change the logo. Rather, all we have to do is change it on our company information page here. So we can see this is the current logo. All I would have to do is navigate out and choose a new company logo. So I got this one here, demo company new. So we can see that's what it looks like. Now that it's changed, if I went back to my report layout selection window, let's go run one of our uh, invoice reports that we were just working on earlier. Okay, this one here. And I don't even have to go into this. I don't have to update any reports, anything like that. All I gotta do is now test my report by running it. And we can see that the new logo is applied just by changing it in the company information page. That takes us to the end of this webinar series. Please reach out to me at colinp at profit.ca for any help in modifying any of your reports in Business Central or if you have any questions regarding the AR process in Business Central at all. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.